Hey there. So sometimes at the workshop, clients will send us designs that they want us to cut for them. And usually the designs are not in the right format. Of course, you know, uh, we're using Lightburn to cut the designs. And the file format that Lightburn accepts is mostly SVG. But majority of clients will send us designs either in PNG or PDF or some other file format. So today I'm going to show you how you can change a client's design from PDF to SVG. In this particular case, the client wanted an outline of a couple of animals cut out. So they sent me the design in PDF. I'll jump on my computer and change that silhouette design into an SVG a file into an SVG design that you can be able to cut with our laser machine. All right, all right, all right, let's get started. We're going to convert these silhouettes into parts. So the first thing is, uh, let's crop all the rest of the animals and remain with the one that we want to work on. So this will make it easier for us just to, you know, uh, concentrate on one thing. So I'll magnify it so that I can see the edges nicely. Alright, so since we're going to convert uh, the edges into parts, we'll need to open the parts panel. Go to Windows and select the parts option so that the parts panel opens. Okay, next we'll need to select uh, the graphic that we're working on and adjust the color. So go to layers, make sure it's selected, then go to select color range make sure it's one color click ok and the outline will be selected then just click here the parts will appear choose the pen tool add the nodes wherever you feel like uh, you need some work done just for accuracy you can add a, you can click then you can select any area that you want to magnify so that you can see properly add some nodes uh, adjust them here and there so that your graphic comes out nicely so this one will take some time depending on how intricate your graphic is so just take your time and when you're done it will be time for us to save uh, the parts as SVG and then export them Alright, now that we are satisfied with the path outline that we've created, let's go to the layers uh, panel and create a new layer. This new layer is where the stroke path will reside. So we've selected the new layer and uh, then choose uh, your path, just right click on it, then select stroke path, make sure pencil is selected click OK and the pencil outline will appear so if you hide the bottom layer you can see the pencil outline of the buffalo uh, let's magnify it and see it closely that's the outline that we're going to be cutting so we click quickly export it select file click export select the format to be SVG because that's the format that Lightburn will read and then click export Select where you want to save it on your laptop. And there we go. We've already saved our SVG. Okay, so now our files are ready and we're ready to cut them. The material we'll be cutting is this one. It's kind of a hard paper. These guys make their own paper. And on top, they've used some thin cloth. It's, a, it's kind of like one millimeter thick, so the 10 watts out on laser are going to be able to handle it. So I'm going to cut the material. Of course, as usual, the first thing you want to make sure if the material is a little bit malleable, make sure it's flat. So I'm just going to give this one a nice jiggle so that it gets flat. And from there, let's just go and cut. 
So I've already cut the straw balls into these thin pieces so that they can fit the bed of the laser machine. And on the laser machine, I've cut the patterns that we're going to be cutting. So those are the animals that are going to be cutting. This is just going to give me a quick guide on where to place the material. And this is especially important when you're working with materials that are not easy to get. So for instance, these materials, since they're handmade, I wouldn't want to waste them. So it's just like having some template put on top of the bed so that you can guide me on where I'm going to put the material. So we're going to start with the first one. Uh, okay. Just put the material nicely. Make sure all the patterns are covered. Then I want to make sure it's flat, so I'm going to use silly tape to hold the material down tightly. So let me just put some more silly tape on different areas. I'm going to put over here and over here so that the material stays down on the bed. So my material is now flat on the bed. It's really super important to ensure that there are no uh, protrudings or anything like that that are going to perhaps get entangled with the laser head as the machine is moving around. So with that, I think the next thing is just to make sure that the laser head is of the, is of the right height and we start with the cutting. So guys, here's the final product. So here are some of the items that I've been able to cut so far. Actually, I've finished the whole work. These are just a sample of whatever has come out from the laser machine. So a couple of quick things. Uh, if you check at the back, some of these have some burn marks. And that's because I used too much power. Uh, if you're using any material that is not uh, the conventional craft material you might want to check uh, the settings of your machine perhaps try a couple of materials first before you 
for you to finally get the right setting for that particular um, material otherwise if you're using the normal uh, craft materials then the general settings that you can follow you can find them online so that's that so most important things you should remember when uh, doing any laser work is make sure that you are a material stays flat on the bed or otherwise the laser head can get on the material and maybe even like remove it from the position and things can get messy you end up wasting your material apart from that uh, just make sure you are around your machine just in case of anything the good thing is that most modern uh, laser cutters have an emergency stop so in case of anything you can always stop your machine let's say if there's a fire or something so that's that I hope you guys have enjoyed this video go now you know how you can transform silhouettes into an outline using Photoshop and then make them ready to be cut on your laser machine if you guys enjoyed this video let me know and if you want to see any kind of tutorial or if you have any questions about laser cutting or stuff like that let me know in the comment section below and until then Thank you.